Hey DL peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto and welcome back to Her Story. Let's continue. I am ready to flex my detective muscles again. All right. So, uh let me look what did we find out in sister sleep. Okay. So, um uh, I'm kind of clueless. Jumpstart me, please. Um, when she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Sam about me, told him I was pregnant. Okay, two sisters. She wanted me to move in with them, this Simon. Sister. He didn't know she had. Okay, they, they pulled off the funny stuff because they were twins and she they pulled off. Instant. They went on dates and they changed places and uh, they Being were in love with the same guy. And Hannah broke the rules and slept with the guy before she here, I think, uh, without her knowing. I don't even know what her name is. This is his name. Name. Let me see your name. And then later, she uh, slept with Simon and got pregnant. We, when Hannah, who had been pregnant, had already lost her baby. Okay. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't Eva. want to have a symmetrical name. Why didn't you want? Because Hannah is a symmetrical name. My name. And she always was jealous. That of was the only question I failed. <laughs> the lie detector works. Okay, in the lie detector test, she said she was. Her name was Hannah, all right? Her name was Hannah. And that was a lie. Okay, um, um, let's go for Sarah. Shall we wait one more, we can check. Okay, you got me. I'll confess. Yes, please. We there. Where? It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made-up name. We stayed at the hotel, had room service, didn't leave the room. Had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. Well, good for you. Not helping me. Nothing, uh, Ava. Nothing as well. Um, hotel. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were staying for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Okay. Okay, cool. And the hotel said he was there? The hotel in Brighton. Brighton. Not in Brighton. What was she always talking about? Uh, dip, 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 dip. Uh. Mm hmm. Be. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaziers. Mm -hmm. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change. Time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. Full of hope. Okay, they moved in with his parents. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. 
I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. You didn't want to keep the baby? So, um, Hannah and her sister. Double dating, the same guy. Hannah sleeping with the guy. Hannah getting pregnant. They marrying, they moving in with his parents. Her or the other woman uh, being left behind. But then having an affair after uh, Hannah had a miscarriage uh, sleeping with Hannah's husband Simon and getting pregnant as well. So how does that bring us to dead Simon? Maybe with Hannah killing him. But is that is that even Hannah? That isn't is it not it's just a crazy what and what happened to her baby and 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 she is she pregnant right now? I forgot. Yes, I'm fine. She is. I won't be sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. She is. So see, she is the sister. Or not? I don't know. I don't even know. Okay, um. Tell me something about work. Glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. So is 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 she here? Not Hannah all the time. Is she just going to the police and talking to the police as Hannah? Because in some later interview she said that Hannah is gone forever. No. I'm not sure what strange would be, but he hasn't been acting odd. He's been busy at work, but nothing too stressful. Okay, let's uh, for the glaziers. Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaziers, organizes the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Diane. And Eric was yeah. his boss, right? Well, we met when we were 17, both working at the glaziers. Both working at the glaciers. Oh, there's another one. No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier who doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Wait, let's search for gone. <laughs> Is that the one? My sister is gone. That it is. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Never coming back. Why not? It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror. Her clothes, they're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew that oh. I, we had an alibi. 
So we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it longer. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. What, 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 okay. So they, they both killed him, did they? They both killed him and took him down to the cellar and then prepared their alibi. That was what, I don't know, that she... Um, and now she... is covering the disappearance of her sister up. Sister is gone. And the police will never get her. Is that it? But how how is that helping the baby? Cuz isn't she the mother? Or is she, is she, Did the one with the baby leave? Yeah. And they've gone to bed feeling ill, thinking it was a flu or something. The neighbor called me, I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days, no one had noticed. Just awful. It was so soon after my miscarriage the worst year of my life. I've been so happy to get married and after that it was just like, fuck. See that, that reflection? That is her and she's wearing some kind of, um, uh, I don't know what it's called, the thing uh, you wear in a hospital, some kind of, uh, what, doctors or nurses wear so she might I don't know might be in a sanatorium or something and now somehow asked somebody to help her investigate that case or look at the tapes no it's okay the other detective has just gone to get me one I'm sorry it's just not working I mean, I guess the rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. The cellar. Yeah. The whole thing was wrong. The bags, I... I think they were from our kitchen. You can probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. Like Simon. Dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. Well, fine, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. I mean, worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't lived in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in. As good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So. So. All right. But still. Okay. Sister. Number two, this is not Hannah got a baby from Simon. 
Hannah was mad about it, obviously. But then they somehow decided to kill Simon. They both decided to kill Simon as a team again to help the baby. We see that again. It happened very quickly. Very quickly. We had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. Broken mirror, okay. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi. And we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it linger. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. Yep, yep, yep. The watch. That was my touch. The watch, okay. To make sure the alibi stuck. I want to search for alibi and the watch and uh, some other thing. Uh, the mirror. The mirror. Okay, let's go with the mirror first. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror. A nice mirror. He didn't break the glass. The kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. So, the mirror was a gift to her from I Simon. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. And they broke the mirror. Mm. Um, while murdering him. And now she... They got so rid he, no. of the mirror. And he normally solves them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. Like you. She doesn't look to... Like to look at her own reflection. At her own sister. Alibi. You have one, you have none. Okay. The watch. Watch. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of us. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. Okay, and I placed it somewhere. It Diane, who chose it, she has really nice taste. That time, you must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Glasgow. That was the other. So that's what gave him uh, gave gave them. I got in the car. And I an drove. alibi. Glasgow. I just kept driving north. Just kept going. Just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. Okay, but how does it yes. make an alibi? Um, I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back.
No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. So no one saw you? Lady, I'm not sure if you know how alibis work, but it would be helpful if someone mm, saw you. Go what the if they were crazy? You hear about these crazy people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? I don't know. I do not know, because of the baby. Okay, this they they always said they had a set of rules. As okay. sisters. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. What's with the photos? She broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her there? I don't know. Mistaken identity. Yeah. We have plenty of that in here. Uh, so was it an accident with Simon? Guilty. At the time they said it was poison. Food poisoning. I mean, I felt so guilty. If I'd still been at home, maybe I could have done something. So he's been poisoned? But where? Yes. I thought about telling Hannah. I felt guilty after the kiss. But then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing. Like we had before. Okay. He never mentioned her to me. There was the yeah, that is strange. with me and the silent with her. It was almost like it was a different Simon. But... He, he must have noticed that he looked the same. Not... Poison! What's with the poison? I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just... Don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. Maybe fault? No. Hmm. Hmm. No? Okay. Well, kinda clueless right now. Yeah, but at least we found out that they team they somehow teamed up to kill Simon. Or with the poison thing maybe she poisoned him. Or it was an accident, or whatever. But Simon was dead, and they team up, teamed up to get rid of the body, and they were crafting an alibi. And now she here is. She helped her sister taking her place again at the police. She helped her sister to get away so that she could live with the baby because the baby was the important thing they said okay this is taking some new twists and turns but still awesome game I enjoyed very much 
I think we did some progress again today, uh, but that's gonna be it for now. Um, if you enjoyed watching, then watch some more videos and uh, come back if you like. And I will be happy to see you in the next video then. Uh, for now, thank you for watching, peeps. Have a nice one. Peace out. Maybe I just... Come on! No! What are you doing? Not stop. Do not stop. You have to run. It says run. It would be cool if it said run in the background. Not in the foreground. Uh, uh...